Happy Sunday, everybody. It's Allie from Be Blissful. You can see my little hat. All right, I'm gonna show you a super easy weekend look using Bundle 4. We're gonna be using my Touch Glorious Primer, my Complexion Plus Powder Foundation, with one of my favorite brushes, which is the Powder Puff brush. And then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use my eyeshadow as also lipstick. And we're just gonna put together a really cute, really easy look. And I'm trying to, okay, hopefully, hopefully I just pinned, uh, pinned a comment that has a link with everything I'm gonna use. Okay, so. I hope everyone's holiday is going really well. This is my Touch Glorious Face Primer. And this is great no matter what type of skin you have. If you have um, dry skin, uh, I do have a hydrating primer. If you have oily skin, I have a matte primer. Or if you just want like a dewy look, you can use the... Uh, hydrating primer if you want um, just a matte look you can use the matte primer but this is just my touch glorious don't mind my cut there I got that yesterday um, sorry I haven't been live in a while it has been super crazy um, I'm still covering for a lot of people at work and we are moving an office so it's just been a little insane and then um, my car went dead at the office one day. It's just been a week, what can I say? But, okay, so you put primer on pretty much everywhere. I like to put it on under my eyes, around my eyes as well. It's just gonna help set everything. It's gonna help lock in your skincare and it's gonna smooth out fine lines and wrinkles and pores. And um, it's gonna create essentially a perfect canvas to put your makeup on and it's going to keep your makeup in place for so much longer. So that is my just regular Touch Glorious face primer. It's the black one and I do have a hydrating one and a mattifying one, but all skin types can use all of them. So you want to let it dry. It doesn't take long to dry. In fact, it's pretty much already dry. And then, so this is just a super quick, easy look. Big powder puff brush. And um, I'm using Taffeta today in my Complexion Plus powder foundation. One thing that I love about Complexion Plus is you can really kind of fudge the color. You can, like it doesn't have to be spot on like it does with serum, because you can blend it in really well. And I was so pale that I used tanning drops to give myself some color because I just really wanted some color. So we're gonna take big powder puff brush, just swirl it around and then just tap that on. And you can go with a light coverage, you can go with a medium coverage, or you could go with a full coverage. You just wanna make sure that you also get down into your neck so that you blend those colors in. Because remember, we're matching to your neck. And like, I have melasma that comes down like under here, so I have to come really far down on my neck. Um, but this is a great, great foundation. It's so fast, so easy. It lasts all day and it doesn't dry out your skin. That's the biggest complaint that people have with powder foundation, that it dries out their skin. This does not, it uses kale and clay, which absorbs oil, but doesn't strip your skin of oil. So it lasts a really long time. It's got this beautiful mattifying effect. But see how like smooth my skin looks with this on? I can tell you my Complexion Plus Powder Foundation by far is um, one of my client's favorite products, right? You can use it just by itself, just like that. And now I've got like this perfect base to put everything else on. And um, these three, are on sale in the link. These are part of bundle four. Any primer, any one of my foundation, that includes Serum Plus, Complexion Plus, BB Flawless, 
um, my stick and my spray foundation. So all of those. And then if you want to add on any concealer, any face brush or any setting product, you're going to keep saving. So that's in the link. I'm going to show you guys really fast how I'm going to do my eyes and I'm using my eye essentials bundle, which is great. Okay. Make sure you always want to do your eyebrows. I have one eyebrow that has a natural arch and one that doesn't, so I have to draw draw that one on. And I love this Sculptin style pencil, and that's in the link. And really, if you grab this whole bundle today in that link, you are gonna save a ton and you're gonna get a $20 coupon from me off your next purchase. So if you're not sure what color you want, text CONNECT to 470-309-0308 and I will help you pick colors, but I, everything that I have is a 100% 90-day love it guarantee. So if you don't love the color for any reason or you just don't like the product, you let me know and I'm gonna take care of it. But I promise you, you're gonna love it. This is just one of the easiest foundations and quickest foundations. So see what a big difference having your eyebrows done does. And I get this question a lot. What color should my eyebrows be? So really you want your eyebrows to be the roots of your hair. So even if you color your hair blonde, if your roots are brown, you wanna go with a, like a brown, light brown. If your roots are dark brown, you actually wanna go with a dark brown color. I use auburn and, um, and brown, just depending, because I can switch back and forth. Um, I do have a blonde, I have blonde, auburn, brown, dark brown, and black, but I love this because it's super nourishing. It has biotin and keratin and argon oil, so it really keeps your, um, your eyebrows nice and conditioned through the winter. Hey, Barbara, how are you? And so, oh, it's okay, girl. You just let me know. Don't even worry. Do not even worry. Okay, so I'm gonna take Giggly, which is um, a pale pink, and it's one of my liquid eyeshadows. It's such a great color. It looks fantastic on everyone. It's super neutral. You can use your fingers to work it in. You can also use um, like a the larger fluffy crease brush or the blending brush, or you can use your fingers. But it just gives a like beautiful natural look. So it's really, it's just so easy to use and super fast. Cause we're going with just a really cute, easy weekend look. I just wanted to show you guys how, um, how quick and easy a weekend look can be. And if I wasn't talking, I'd probably already be done. Okay, so I'm actually, I don't know my nose. Um, I'm actually gonna take this and actually use it as a really light blush. Because I said this is gonna be like super simple, easy weekend look. I do have a new product launching this month that is this same type of product, anti-aging, European Union approved, plant-based but made to be used on your eyes, cheeks, and lips. You can also use it as highlighter or contour. It's a new product, a brand new line, so I'm super excited about it, and it's only gonna be available in my holiday bundle. So you can see like, it's just really light. Um, you could also do the same thing with like egotistical, which is one of my, um, liquid eyeshadows, um, actually any of them really to use on your eyes and, and your cheeks just to give a little bit of color. Um, I'm gonna actually use the brand new liquid eyeliner pen that was only available in bundle three. So this is it. 
and it is incredible. It's got this felt tip pen and it is highly pigmented, black, black, black. I love it and it's so easy to do a cat eye with this or you do um, a straight line. You can just simply draw or you can um, tap down but please don't pull your eyes because that's just gonna give you more fine lines and wrinkles and nobody nobody contacts me because they want more fine lines and wrinkles, I can tell you that much. So, you know what, I'm gonna start. I love that it's super black. Like see how super black it is? And it's at an angle, which really makes it a lot easier to, hold on, let me, ah, to use, I think. And you can make this as thick of a line as you want to. And here I'll even, so right, this is just, I love how, I love how dark this is, it's perfect. It's so highly pigmented. You can also bring this up into a cat eye. Super simple. Okay, the trick to a, a cat eye is really follow the line from your, your outer eye up to your outer eyebrow, okay? That's really the trick to a cat eye. My hands are super shaky today. But so it's really just following that line all the way up. And you can see, right, I'm 45. I rarely put eyeliner under eyeliner underneath my eyes because it closes off your eyes and really kind of accentuates all these fine lines and wrinkles. So yeah, I, I just skip that. And I highly recommend if you're over the age 30, don't put eyeliner underneath your eye unless it's like a special event or like that's the look you're going for. All right, you guys ready? My hands are so shaky today. I've got to... This is super smooth, really easy to use. So right, I love how like just rich and black it is. My hands are so shaky today. All right, there we go. I really love like how dark and rich that is. I mean, it just really, it really makes your eyes pop. I love it. 
I love it, I love it. Okay, so I am not even gonna use lash primer today because this is super simple weekend look. I'm just gonna use Twisted. Use this small brush first. That way you can really get in there and get all those little teeny itty bitty lashes. So Twisted gives what I call long wispy fairy tale lashes. It has two different brushes in it. And you really wanna use the small one first. That way you can really get in there and get all those tiny little lashes and it will separate them. And then you come back and get the larger brush. For what I call go big, go home lashes, use 4D and then Epic. I prefer the waterproof because I live in the South and it's always hot and humid no matter the time of year. So I like to top everything off with Epic Waterproof. I'm not gonna do it today because, well, I'm just not. And you can layer this on as many layers as you want, right? The key to layers is thin layers. That's really the key to layers. It's just thin layers. I, I like to take the twisted wand, the smaller one, and do the back of my eyelashes first. And then come and do the underneath. But that just gives me a little bit more even distribution. You know, sometimes you get, like you put mascara on, you're like, how did I miss the whole section? It happens to all of us, I promise. And I promise you will put mascara on faster than I do. My hands like to do their own things. And it was raining here a lot of the week. And so my the nerve pain in both of my arms was just out of control. And of course I was working nonstop and driving and so this week, whew, it was a lot, but it's okay. It is all right. Thanksgiving is coming soon. And I'm excited. I hope everyone else is excited too. We are not traveling anywhere this year. We thought we were going to, but uh, the boys' bathroom is in the middle of a remodel, so we are not traveling anywhere. I'm hoping they'll be done by Thanksgiving, but we'll see. Okay, I promise you, you will put on mascara faster than I do. All right, and the last thing I'm gonna do for a cute little weekend look is just throw on a cute lip color. And this is this is graceful. It is one of my limited edition colors. Warm Hearted is sold out of the lip liner and the lipstick. Graceful is still in. It's super cute. It's like this rosy color. Okay, so we've got lip liner. And then I'm just going to throw on... Is cute. So cute that has a little graceful color. It's adorable. And just because I'm gonna throw on, oh snap. I just drug, I just drug this all over um, my desk. That's okay. I'll fix that in a little bit. I'm gonna put on <laughs> my limited edition holiday red lip mask 
It smells and tastes delicious. It has this kind of like little tropical fruity smell and taste to it. And it's so great. It just nourishes your lips like the original lip mask does. But it has just that slight hint of red to it. So it really makes your lips, your lips pop. Okay, that is my super simple, easy weekend lip use it, weekend lip, weekend look <laughs> using bundle four and the limited edition um, eyeliner pin that came in uh, bundle three. And I think the, I think the holiday red lip mask, I think it was bundle one or two. I can't remember you guys. Things get, things get a little, a little, a little mixed around, um, in my head anyway, but let me know if you have any, any questions. I'll post a link. There is a link. Let me know if you have any comments and, um, oh, you said I would, I wish you had the hand fan by you. I've got this one. What do you think? Am I looking good? I may have to take a picture with it. It's a good idea. Thank you. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great day. I will talk to you later. And hopefully I'm going to go live super early tomorrow before I go to work and like do a real full face for work using bundle force. So you guys can save. All right, I'll speak to you later. Bye.